justify that play? Actually, that was the third play in a row that we ran down there. The first two plays actually had that kill attached to it. It was a kill play. It was a run kill to that play. And uh, we just, you know, I just, Nick and I, we talked on the sideline and we said, you know what, let's, let's, let's just run the sprint out. Um, so actually that was, uh, that was the third play in a row that we ran and well executed. Nick, we, he successfully ran that play in 2012 to win a game on a last second touchdown to Jeremy Macklin, if you, if you recall, and he called Tampa Bay. Yeah. yeah. Did he, did he want this one too? I mean, was, did he call No, it was, it was, it was still part of the, the game plan. I mean, we just, we knew that, uh, had a feeling that, 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 that Coach Fangio, he, he's a zero blitz guy when you kind of got to have it and, and uh, felt like that it was the best thing to do was get him on the move at that time. You walked in here, you appear to be still pretty emotional for the locker room. I had something in my eye. Huh? Still do, actually. Hey, don't ruin a good story. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, I am. I was a great win. <laughs> I mean, just just overwhelmed. I mean, that's a good football team, and uh, um, you know, Matt Nagy did a great job this season, and and my hats off to him and and, and that Chicago Bear team. It's it's a tremendous football team, and and quite frankly, just for us to come in here and, and just just hang together for 60 minutes, we knew it was going to be uh, that type of football game, and um, we hung in there. We made uh, it wasn't pretty at times, but uh, we made the plays when we needed to, and and uh, my hats off to to our guys and and, and my coaches. Legend of him being able to continue to do this. That final drive, you're down, comes down the field, down to that last play on fourth down. I mean, he just always seems to get it done in the biggest moments. Yeah, and you know, and he had had some help. Um, you know, Golden obviously making the play at the end. Alshon made a big catch. Dallas made some huge catches. Zach, I mean, just go around the around the room there. And um, you know, Nick is Nick is Nick. He's going to stay calm. He's going to stay collected. Um, just you know, very efficient. You know, it wasn't. Uh, again, it wasn't pretty at times. I know the you know the two turnovers early in the first half, which could have led to some points. But uh, you know, he hung in there and, and did some good things. As the Bears drove for that final drive there and set up for the field goal, what's going on in in, in uh, your mind in that situation? Well, we were still talking uh, scenarios for us offensively. Um, still had one timeout, I think, at the time, and you know, um, just uh, preparing to to get the ball back and 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 see how much time we had and. Just kind of getting ready for the next series. Was there any thought to keeping that timeout in case you had to start going the other way? Yeah, I mean, we could have. There, there could have been several things. I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, um, but uh, you know, it turned out to be a pretty good decision to save it on the on the final play of the game. You tried to ice Cody Parkey earlier in the game, and it didn't work. So, were you thinking to yourself? Do I do it or not do it, or you were just going to go? I was doing it regardless. I was doing it. I wasn't even thinking about the first half. Uh, I was going to use it. I wasn't going to take it with me. Doug, what is it, what is it about Nick Foles that puts him, that, that makes him different in those moments? I mean, he had, the, the middle of the game was not very good for him. But then the last four minutes were you know, kind of what we've come to maybe unrealistically suspect. Expect. You know, it's it's playing it's playing quarterback in the National Football League. It's it's not always going to be pretty. Um and and you know, but you have you have confidence in your offense. You have confidence in your quarterback, and you know you put it uh, quite frankly put it in his hands to, to win. And you know he just does a great job of just staying staying in the moment, staying calm, and uh, you know no panic. There was no panic on on offense or on the sideline. And um, even after we punted the football, there um, felt like if, you know defense got a three and out. We just offensively just say, hey, we're going to put a drive together and score. And and uh, you know well, we set our mind to it. and We did it. Able to do everything that he normally would do? Was he limited by the? Yeah, no, no, he actually did did everything. Um, you know, we had the walkthrough on Wednesday, so there's not a ton of throwing there. And then Thursday, you know, took everything in, on Thursday and Friday, so um, he had a normal week. Doug, what was your thinking uh, when you when Alshon had caught that first down pass down to the two? You had two runs called first. What, what, what was? Can you well, those were the two. Those were the two plays that had that kill attached to it. Right. Uh, we still had plenty of time, and and uh, you know, we still had the timeouts there, and and. Uh, you know, it, it's a run, kill to a pass. So we kind of had the best of both worlds there. Um, and I, you know, credit the Bears; they came off the edge with the outside backer there and and, uh, and tackled us. And, and fortunately, we were able to finish the drive. You ran a lot on first down in the first half. Second half, kind of switched that up a little bit. Was that was that the plan? A little bit. You know, I, I probably could have you know called a few more passes on first down early in the game, uh, particularly on first down. So I mean, I'll, I'll look at that uh, you know uh, tomorrow and get better. Drive knowing that you guys have done this before you won a Super Bowl title versus a team that 
Well, I, yeah, I think I think there's a lot of confidence in the in the room. You know, the team um, guys understand that uh, you know everything matters. Every play matters. Um, these games, these these these, these postseason games are going to you know they're going to be full sixty minute games, and um, you know, and, and just uh, it's just a matter of uh, just just staying in the moment. You know, I don't let things get too 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 big for us, and uh, you know, um, rely on your playmakers to make plays and. You know, I, I do think that being in this situation last year has, has prepared us for this for this time. After the game, what was the message to the players? <sighs> message basically was was uh, you know team effort, great team effort. Um, you know, part of part of uh, you know to, to just to go one and zero each week and uh, gives ourselves an op- another opportunity next week. And um, guys are excited, guys are uh, thrilled, but. Uh, uh, we know that we've got to uh, clean some things up and get ready for next week. Uh, how important is the pass protection considering the caliber of opponent you faced tonight with the way the offensive line held up? I thought our offensive line did some did some great things. I mean, they they really held up well. Um, you know, without looking at any numbers, I don't I don't know what the sacks or pressures hurries are, but um, you know, gave gave Nick some time to throw and, and push the ball down the field, and you know, uh, sometimes. Sometimes uh, you know it's going to happen that way where you got to you got to throw a little bit more than you'd like to, but uh, our offensive line uh, did a, did a nice job. New, New, Orleans, New Orleans not your best trip this year. Your thoughts about going back and trying to make some amends? Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't very good the first time, and you know um, we'll take a look at that film. Uh, we'll take a look at this one. Uh, I, I think I think uh, we're we're a different football team now than we were then, and you know we just got to put a good plan together in all three phases and. Uh, you know, go back down there. We're on the road. It's going to be in a dome. It's going to be loud again. All those things, and uh, uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. So, did you plan a change at all with Eddie Jackson not playing? I know he obviously can make a big difference back there. Yeah, yeah no, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah, no, we, we stuck to what we had. So, your defense, a lot of guys were talking about this week that by the end of the day, we're going to be the better defense. Fletch talked about it. Brandon talked about it. A lot of guys did. For your defense to come in here and really contain them for most of the game with all the injuries you've had, what does it say about this defense that, you know, kind of patchwork guys out there at times are able to get it? It, it just shows that, uh, one, they're, they're getting better as a unit playing together with some of the young guys that are out there. Um, I think I think Maddox is, is playing well. LeBlanc is playing well in the back end. You know, uh, Trey has come on. I, I wish he would have caught the ball there at the end of the half, but – but uh, he, he's been coming on, and and really Razul, Razul's he, he's done a nice job here down the stretch, and and uh, so those young players are just getting valuable experience, and um, that's what it takes. And, and our defense has a lot of confidence right now. We know that it starts up front with our with our front four, um, putting pressure on quarterbacks and trying to stop the run, and um, you know they they did a nice job today. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry.